that's what I'm called, dude. You might have guessed that, yes, I'm in Greenwich, about to do a circular walk from this, London's Hidden Walks, Volume 3, by Stephen Miller. All right, let's go on with it. Good luck, everyone, especially me. This is the Cutty Sark, made in 1869 and once one of the fastest ships in the world. And over there is the Thames Tunnel entrance, and it goes 33 metres below the Thames to the other side. Why am I recording this now? Because there was a man next to me who had the loudest voice in the whole of the UK and absolutely ruined his take. Anyway, I continued on my walk up into Greenwich where I rejoin past Marrick. In that pub there, Spanish Galleon, where I did my third ever stand-up gig back in about 2003. And there was a comedy room upstairs. So, 19 years ago, depressing. We're gonna wander around Greenwich Market, nice one. Daniel Day-Lewis lived, and C. Day-Lewis is his father. And Daniel Day-Lewis, you probably know the famous actor, said he could recollect standing on the uh, doorstep and there being lots of press outside when his father became Poet Laureate. I never knew his dad was Poet Laureate. Mm, very good fact. and it's possibly got the best views of London I've ever seen. See how many famous buildings you can spot in the next 20 seconds. Good luck. To get cool dudes, why not write it below? Look at this, conquerors galore. I think it is one of the greatest tragedies of the modern era that conquerors have been banned from schools. We used to play conquerors all the time when I was at school, and there are all sorts of theories of how to make your conquerors better, such as like, putting them in the oven, putting vinegar on them. There was one kid in school who used to p on his conquerors. Yeah, gross. And there's also always one kid who had a conquer that was like a hundreder or something, which is impossible. He's definitely a liar. Basically, the conquer will get a number according to how many times you beat someone at conquers. I think the most I had was like a, I don't know, three or something. I can't really remember if it was even called that. This is the Royal Observatory called Dude. It's a Saturday, so absolutely rammed with people. Incredible views, though. It is a bit hectic today at the Royal Observatory. Of course, you all know Cool Dudes, it was founded in 1675 and is infamously the home of the prime meridian from which all time on earth is set. And there's a line there which you can stand either side of, which means one part of you is on the east and the other is on the west. Ooh, and this is fantastic, Cool Dudes. I hadn't heard of this before. This is Elizabeth's Oak and it dates back to the 12th century. And the book says that Henry VIII danced around it with Anne Boleyn, and Elizabeth I once took refreshments in its shade. 
and it only collapsed back in 1991 when the storm brought it down. Oh, what a surprise, a pigeon. And this whole area is above a network of hidden tunnels which are thought to carry water to the Royal Palace and the Greenwich Hospital. But some people think there were other reasons for the secret passages yet to be known. Out of the park now, I'm by Maze Hill. You know they say in London you were never more than seven metres away from a rat. In that park, you were never more than five metres away from a crying child. Ugh. According to the guidebook, the 1847 Kentish Gazette reported that three criminals were caught using the tunnels underneath Mays Hill to rob the houses. Very ingenious. Here we are at the old Royal Naval College, which is on the site of Greenwich Palace, the infamous residence of Henry VIII, and also where Queen Elizabeth I was born. It was demolished in 1660 and later became Greenwich Hospital, and now is the site of Greenwich University and a music college. Greenwich Palace is also the site of the infamous May Day Jouts back in 1536, where King Henry VIII was told about Queen Anne Boleyn's alleged affair and we all know what happened to poor Anne Boleyn after that. Oh dear. This is the Queen's house but it is where possibly the most famous ghost photo ever got taken. A Canadian tourist took a photo of the tulip stairs. When he had them developed he saw a spectral figure on them. <gasps> Nice one, cool dude. That is it. I'm going to finish the walk here by the um, Greenwich University Naval Colleges, whatever it is. I've walked around for about five miles. It took me about five hours. I didn't record it properly, but here's a rough map of the second half of it. it Greenwich is a fascinating place, but try to avoid coming on a Saturday because if I hear another screaming child, I think I might bang my head against a wall for an hour maybe two hours. I'm standing right next to a fountain and it's making me really need to go to the toilet. But first of all, I must say, if you've enjoyed the walk, please consider joining Cordy's Walking Club on YouTube. Go to the YouTube page and click on join for just 99p a month. This really helps me out funding these videos. Thank you very much to all the Cordy's who have. Also, you can buy merch on the website, cordyswalkingclub.com. And that is about all the plugs. The prize draw for members is coming up next. Oh yeah, oh, what was it? There was something else I wanted to say. Oh yeah, that's it, stay cool. Nice one, cool dudes. And yes, it is a beautiful hat. Some of you may have noticed in the end bit, that I got 72 spotters points in that last walk. A new record for me. I'm very pleased. It helped seeing an observatory and a puppy and that oak among other things. How are you doing with your spotters handbooks? Please let me know your record points below. I would like to read them. Anyway, time for the prize draw. Before we start the prize draw, I've been making more mini Marek key rings. 
I've even included some sunglasses, Marek, and Christmas ones. And these will feature in future prize drawers, and there will be some on sale sporadically on the website, normally soon after a video's gone out or that evening. So you can get those. And they take me ages to make. Um, and uh, I'm going to be using those in the end bit of the video where I play my keyboards at the very end. There'll be a new photo gallery section where if you send me pictures of your keyring marics, I will add it to the photo section. And each of the keyring marics are numbered so we can keep track of how they're getting on. And I must give credit for this idea to Lisa Perry, who made me a wonderful Mini Marek and has been taking Mini Marek on expeditions around England uh, on her Instagram, which I very much enjoyed watching. Thank you very much, Lisa, and apologies for stealing your idea. Anyway, in the prize draw this week, you may have noticed, as well as the Mini Marek or key ring, is... This book, Earth to Earth, by cool dude Richard Daniels, who runs the Occultaria of Albion. I can barely say it. The website is down below, and I've done an interview with him for the blog on the Cool Dude's Walking Club website, which he talks about this book and his website and how you can help him. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Thank you for sending it to me, and uh, an extra copy will be in the prize drawer. What an incredible prize draw this week. Right, let's get on with it. Currently, there are 919 members on the website and 269 on YouTube. There's a total of 1,188 entries into this incredible prize draw. Random number generator. Please generate me a number. Generate. Ooh, member 700, who is Helen. Congratulations, Helen. I'll put this cool stuff in the post to you. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Stay cool. All right. See you later.